Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest and welcome to another edition of Drawing for Illustrator. Now what we're going to be focusing on today is we're going to get right into it with drawing from an image. We are not going to do any cheats, we're not doing any training wheels, we are just going to be putting it on the left hand side. All of the images as well as all of the templates are located at jasonseacrest.com. I've already set this one up for you. But if you are just using a piece of paper and a pencil or anything like this, this will work just fine. So what we are going to be starting with is just kind of the contour. I'm really looking for the size, I'm looking for the scale, and I'm really looking for the edges. So every time we do this, just be aware that your comfort level might be different than mine, your pace might be different than mine. So just have the image of the hamburger up in front of you. And the major thing is just, can I dissect what I'm looking at? So you don't necessarily have to go stroke for stroke with me. That is not the intention whatsoever. It's just going through and simplifying a full color image. And we're trying to simplify it for different approaches in Illustrator. So right now, we are gonna be doing a little bit more with the pen tool, potentially a little bit more with the pencil. My pipe, my pace is gonna be a little bit faster potentially and or slower. It just depends on how comfortable you guys are at drawing on Photoshop. But again, we're just going back and forth. Every time you guys are saying Jason's drawing is off, I want you guys to be doing the, the exact same thing on your end. What are you looking for? You know, what are we going to be adding? A lot of the little condiments up at the top, we are going to be modifying. I'm going to do a little bit of an, an executive decision on pulling some of it. And this happens quite a bit with photos or stock you know, imagery that it's not going to be perfect or exactly what you're looking for every single time. So me putting brie on a cheeseburger might not make sense as we're throwing through. So there's just going to be a big white thing in the middle of the design. That wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense for most people reading it. So I'm going to keep the cheese normal. There's all sorts of different stuff on the top there. But we're just going through. We're going through different waves. Notice every time we go through a wave, I'm adding on more details. I started with a really, really fat pen. And then as I start getting more and more confident, I can start shrinking it. Now with this one, notice that we really haven't zoomed in and out. So when I'm really, really zoomed out, I want a really, really fat brush. Every time we drop it, so if anything under, let's say 15 pixels, it's going to be really, really hard to see. And you're just going to have to keep going over it multiple, multiple times. So this is a good little time to just understand that I am very much pro rough draft. So you're going to notice that I'm sketchy. And this is pretty much what I would be doing on paper. So if you guys do have paper, you can be just as sketchy. You can be just as rough. What kind of things make sense to you? And this little final wave right now is most of it's pretty well done. Now I'm coming through and going, what would be my final line? what all of the things I am looking at are. So everyone's going to be a little bit different. Keep in mind what we're looking at on the left hand side, there's a lot of information. So my goal with the drawing is to simplify my life. So the first thing that we're going to be staring at is a nice white artboard. So everything that we're going to be doing first is in that build mode. So what tool are we going to be using? Am I using the pencil? But we're just going through and just notice every time I kind of do a new wave, I'm just finalizing that final line. So the, the one before, kind of the sketchy one, potentially you could leave it there. So I'm going to keep kind of going and depending on where you guys are at or what you would need help with, you can continue on that process. Meaning I could add in value. I could sit there and really spend a whole lot of time defining each one of these lines. If I was going to show this to a client, let's say, then I would really want some defined lines rather than, hey, I'm going to keep everything sketchy. So everyone's going to have a different comfort level. Again, if you guys have watched anything, or at least the last one, I have a pretty high tolerance for sketchy as well as just kind of that ugly phase. And so anytime we're dealing with a rough draft, I'm just trying to figure it out. Does everything scale the way I want? Is there any new things or new information that I want to put in there? I also might want to edit some of the information that is already there. So like a good example would be like the upside down cheese. Like we know that it melted that way. But if in the design, I think that would just read a little bit funny. So that would be a good little edit on the photo to the drawing that we might remove on the, the final one. Most of this is pretty good for right now. Like I would probably stop it pretty, pretty close to here. Your goal, whenever we do these little drawing for illustrators, if you're following along to it, would be, do you understand the image? 
Does it make sense? And the more times you guys get to do a little bit of the rough or the, the sketch above, notice that we're spending some time with it. So if the Illustrator process is becoming more and more challenging, the more times you get to look and study the image, the more it makes sense to you before you bring it over into Illustrator. So there's gonna be that big, giant, ugly phase where we're going through and we're cleaning up and everyone yells at me going, holy cow, this is pretty intense. That is where all of this is really gonna come into play, where I've spent some time, I've already looked at it. So that looks pretty good to me. I will leave it here. I did kind of just go through the process. Every time you were looking at those darker lines or the darker values, it's just how much time do you wanna spend on your little rough draft. So bring it over into Illustrator. This is where we're gonna do our nice little template layer. This is again, five by five. I am just clicking on our transparency window. I'm dropping that down to 25%, 15% somewhere where I can still see it. I'm gonna create a new layer above it, lock it out, and then we're good to go. So what the little takeaway is today is just get in the habit of drawing and really just figuring out what you're looking at. That's one of the best things I can tell you. So if you guys followed along, that's even better, but thanks for hanging out, just watching me draw. It was a lot of fun and I, Look forward to the next drawing for Illustrator tutorial.